Well, in the state of California, there is a new law recently passed that requires anti-abortion pregnancy centers, places that help women who are pregnant, set them up with help or for adoption. It's forcing these groups to provide information on how to get a state-subsidized abortion. These are groups who think that abortion is evil, tough, says California. You have to promote it anyway. Well, pro-life groups sued, of course, and this week the Supreme Court announced it will hear the case in the near future. Tom Glester is president and founder of the National Institute of Family and Life Advocates, and he joins us tonight. Tom, thanks for coming on. Great honor to be here. Tech. So Thank I read you. this story and I thought, you know, you don't even have to be opposed to abortion. You could be completely in favor of abortion and still have real concerns about a government forcing people to say things they don't believe. Yeah, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. The, the issue before the court is can the government be empowered to force a charitable faith-based nonprofit or for, for that matter any group to speak a message with which they fundamentally disagree and if they fail to comply, find them issue penalties and even close them down because that's what they're trying to do in California to pro-life pregnancy centers. So this is the Freedom Accountability Comprehensive Care and Transparency Act, totally Orwellian name, there's no freedom <laughs> in it, but it would force pro-life centers to literally advertise and tell people who come in, hey, there's a free abortion waiting for you if you want one. Well, not only that, it requires them to post a number to call to get the abortion process started. And this is before we, we our centers are ever able but to so talk I to them. So what's the, what's the point of this? Why would the California mm -hmm. legislature, here you have these pro-life groups, abortion counseling groups, Christian groups, they're not hurting anybody. Why would the state want to do this, hassle them, force them to violate their beliefs. Because the far left, which is in control in California, is so in love with abortion, they cannot tolerate anybody with opposing view, and they want to mandate that they support and speak and promote their state-sponsored abortion agenda. That's the bottom but, line. I mean, so could the California beef producers force Hindu temples to serve hamburgers? You know, if we lose a case, that's very well could be. How about the government forcing the uh, uh, Alcoholics Anonymous to post signs advising their members on where the local liquor store is? I mean, if Anheuser-Busch pays enough to the legislature, exactly. do you think? I mean, because this is really about an industry trying to shut down its opponents. It's about a multi-million dollar industry, actually maybe a billion dollar industry, Planned Parenthood gets 500 million of, of federal funds, imposing their will on small, charitable, life-affirming agencies that have very little money or staffed primarily by volunteers. Shame on them. This is a, just bullying tactics. But I thought these are, they, so the whole like safe, legal, and rare thing is no longer an operation. Well, it's The rare part, they, they're not even pretending anymore. And it's, ne it's never safe, at least one, there's one a dead victim in every abortion, but as the Gosnell case in Philadelphia showed, women die from abortions too. Where's, I have to say, like the people you think would be staying up late protecting our freedom of speech, where are they in this? How can the ACLU not weigh in on this? Well, that's interesting. The ACLU supports freedom of speech of Nazis, freedom of speech of communists. They won't touch the freedom of speech for pro-life pregnancy centers. It's because abortion is a sacrosanct right, R-I-T-E, to these people, yeah. and that's why. They worship it like a god. Thank you, Tom, and Godspeed. And again, by the way, if you're watching and you, you know, people don't agree with your politics or your views on abortion, you don't have to, because it's not about that. It's about the freedom to say what you think. Absolutely. Thanks. Thank you.